Hey everyone, today I would like to show you a new experimental feature in Chrome 97. Let's go. So I'm here on CodePen, I have the DevTools open and uh, if you go to the More Tools section, starting with Chrome 97, you will get a new section here called Recorder. Let's click it. You see I already have a saved recording, but let's create a new one. You can do that by either clicking on the plus sign here or on this button. And let's give them some name, name code pen. And as soon as you press the recording button down there, Chrome will record all the actions you're doing on the website. So let's go back here. Let's click record. And uh, well, let's search for coffee because that's what devs cannot get enough about. And then we go to projects, we go to collections, and then we basically end recording. Okay, let's see what happened. So here you can basically see the recording. You see different metadata, like the environment. Well, I'm on desktop, this is my resolution. And these are the actions that I did. I clicked on search, I changed the search, I did a key down event. Then I was going to this uh, pen page with coffee uh, search. And then I pressed on, or I clicked on projects and so on and so forth. And well, now the interesting part is if you have to test a lot of different things from time to time, you can save these recordings. So basically they are saved you can play them, you can delete them, you can click on them to get into the details view, so to say, and you can replay them. So if I make the window a bit bigger again and I replay, you will see that it will replay what I did pretty fast, of course, but it will basically try to replay what's happening. And the other part is, of course, you can measure performance. So basically it will replay the actions and it will open the performance dev tools uh, so that you can look for different um, performance optimizations. And uh, as a last thing that you can do, um, beside deleting it again, you can export this thing as a Puppeteer script. So if you're using already Puppeteer, that's basically no brainer. You can export this as a Puppeteer script and then use it for your own. Well, I hope this was helpful for you. If you're interested in more videos um, about DevTools, about React, JavaScript, HTML, you name it, let me know and uh, well, leave a subscription. Bye-bye.